Aviation is on the brink of a revolution. The prospect of electrically powered commercial flight is becoming a reality. The number of electric aviation projects is soaring. This market will not just be for small, light aircraft flying short distances. EasyJet, for example, is advising Seattle-based startup Wright Electric on its plan for an electric aircraft seating about 120 passengers. Airbus has teamed up with Siemens and Rolls-Royce to develop a commercially viable 50 to 100 seat hybrid electric aircraft that it wants to enter service by the 2030s. Boeing, meanwhile, is bolstering its own research with stakes in startups such as Washington-based aircraft developer Zunum and battery group Kuberg. Electrically powered aircraft, either hybrid or all electric, hold out the promise of cheaper flight. Maintenance costs could be reduced with fewer mechanical parts to wear out. More importantly, the technology could help to curb aviation emissions that continue to climb, with air traffic doubling every 15 years. Thanks to less noise pollution, airports might be able to operate virtually around the clock, or even closer to urban areas. For the foreseeable future, these aircraft will combine traditional gas turbines with power from onboard generators. But even these hybrids could allow radically redesigned aircraft. The push for electric cars is driving huge improvements in batteries and systems, but the aviation industry still faces huge technical challenges before electrified flight becomes a commercial reality. Batteries and fuel cells are still far too heavy, and gas turbines remain far more efficient. The heat generated by cables and other components needs to be resolved. Finally, there's also a greater risk of electrical fires when using higher voltages in the thinner atmospheres where aircraft operate. The challenges are significant, but if these obstacles can be overcome, when, where and how we fly might one day be radically different.